Before we get into this video, I'm gonna hit you guys with some straight facts. Now, the other day on the PlayStation Store, it was released that Wants to Watch is gonna be coming out on the 28th of the 9th. Now, what date is that? That is the date of the full launch of FIFA 19, the standard version, not the, the version with, you know, the three early access, because that comes out on the 25th. It is the date of the full launch of FIFA 19. So, we're getting Wants to Watch day one. That, to me, seems a little bit crazy, and I don't know how to feel about that, because usually it's about two weeks after the game's full launch. But we're getting Wants to Watch day one. It's coming out in literally about a week and a half from today so i'm super excited i don't know how to feel about it i don't know how i should how i should spend fifa points now i don't know if i should wait for ones to watch i don't know if i should spend fifa points on the early access i don't even know anymore i just thought i'd share that information with you guys because it might be information you guys find useful anyway let's get into this video welcome back to a new video in today's video i'm going over some cheap plays you should buy now the last video i did of plays you should buy did really really well and you guys seem to really enjoy it so i thought i'd do another version on very cheap plays i think you guys should pick up uh, and i thought we'd go through it and talk about some of those plays today. So what I've gone ahead and done is I've found plays I think are going to be super OP day one of FIFA 19 and I've got to put them into a little Photoshop uh, page with a few in-game stats that I think are pretty good and highlight how good the player is along with their work rates and a price prediction based off of their last year price or a player similar from last year. Hopefully you guys do go on to enjoy this video. If you do, smash a like down below, subscribe if you guys are new around here and turn those boat, those post bell notifications Whatever that bell thing is, just turn it on. You get notified every time I upload. And trust me, when FIFA 19 drops, it's going to be like 18,000 times a day. First player I wanted to talk about is Callum Wilson. He's a 78 striker, 78 rated striker, sorry, from AFC Bournemouth. He's got 87 pace, 75 dribbling, 75 shooting, and 73 physical on his card. But his in-game stats have 80 finishing and 74 in-game strength with high medium work rates. Now, based off last year's price, I've gone with a price of about 3,000 coins for Callum Wilson. He was roughly about that. I looked on footbin for uh, for last year and he was roughly about 3k on the uh, on the early access and release of the game uh, I was surprised because I thought he was going for more but actually it was about 3,000 coins and I think he'll be pretty similar this year there's a huge amount of players this year from like the Premier League, the Bundesliga, the Serie A, the, uh, the Liga, and any other league you can think of that look really similar to Callum Wilson, which means he's not actually that special anymore. So I can't see him being hugely expensive, and I think that will be used by a lot of cheap starter teams, and I think you guys should pick him up if you guys get a chance, because he looks like an absolute beast. He has decent strength, really good pace, really good acceleration in game as well, and sprint speed, and 80 finishing on the card means he's going to be a pretty good player to use in FIFA 19, and honestly, I will definitely be using him. He gets Links obviously with the Premier League, he gets linked with English players, he gets, you know, strong links with Bournemouth players, and there's a few really good Bournemouth players this year that can get some decent links with him, and I think that he'll be used really a lot in Premier League teams and a lot in starter teams, and I think that is definitely worth trying him out. From the demo, and from the way it seems gameplay is, I think he'll be a pretty useful player because he seems to be able to be De like he's quite tall he's decent at heading the ball but not only that he's super fast and uh, you know FIFA 18 he was really fast as well so he might be a player that's really good to use in FIFA 19 and uh, I think you should definitely pick him up day one next up the one I'm actually probably the most excited for it has to be NDD this guy looks absolutely incredible he looks like the new Bakayoko which is why I've got him at pro quite a high price and I'll talk about that in just a second but in games he's got 84 inter interceptions which is really really good for a CDM especially one that's only 80 rated uh, he's got medium medium work rates and he's got 92 in-game stamina as well which means he will just not get tired at all now the reason i predicted his price around 19,000 coins is because not only have i seen this guy being hyped by other youtubers and streamers which automatically just means he's hyped with viewers but i think that he really does look so similar to bakayoko that i think he'll mimic a price of bakayoko last year and bakayoko's price last year at the start of the game was around 15 to 20,000 coins and i think he settled around 19k so I've got to give him a 19k price range and you're probably thinking Ryan these are cheap players well trust me when I say this that is considered cheap on the first day of FIFA. Players are going to be going for huge amounts of coins. So that is someone that if you get 20k and you can spend it on one player, I would recommend Ndidi in a, in a starter Premier League team. Because, dude, that card just looks so good. I think he's going to be incredible. Now, he's six foot and uh, he does have only medium, medium work rates. However, 
I think he'll be really, really good at the CDM spot. Uh, obviously, he gets links with Nigerian players as well. He gets links with uh, Leicester players. So he's going to be a pretty decent holding CDM. And I think given how the sort of demo works, I think a player with the sort of gameplay I'm predicting FIFA 19 has based on the demo, I think a player like this will be really good as a holding CDM. I think it's gonna, someone I'll be definitely buying from day one. And, uh, and that card, honestly... Just, it looks sick. The next up, we have Robertson from Liverpool. Now, I am looking at all the left backs in the Premier League, and it seems that we have a pretty similar issue to last year, where we just have a lack of really decent left backs. So I was looking at last year, and I looked at the stats of someone like, for example, Danny Rose, and Robertson seems to mimic stats of Danny Rose pretty accurately. So I went and gave him a 9,000 coin price, because it looked a lot like Danny Rose's card. So I thought that I'd just, uh, I'd match those guys in terms of price. Now, in-game, he's got 80 stand tackle, high, high work rate, but he's got 84 crossing now you're probably wondering why i even highlighted the crossing well trust me when i say this a player darting forward like robertson with how op timed headers are this year in the demo i think he'll be fantastic whipping the ball in and if he's got 84 crossing those crosses are going to be pretty accurate almost every single cross so i'm super excited to try this card out and i'm super excited even for starter premier league teams to be able to have someone that is not only a decent left back, but he gets good links as well. You know, he gets Liverpool links. Uh, and I think that that's really strong as well because Liverpool have a really strong side this year, uh, especially in FIFA Ultimate Team. Like the likes of Van Dijk, Wijnaldum, players like that are really, really strong. So for a player to get a link there and uh, not have to worry about maybe a left winger or a left forward or a left centre mid, I think it works really, really well. Next up, we have someone that's a new transfer. I didn't even know that Bernard had gone to uh, Everton, but this card looks fantastic. Now, he does have low shooting but I will talk to why it doesn't really matter in just a second. But in game, he's got 96 balance, high medium work rates and 94 acceleration. And he also has really high agility. Now, he no longer has five star skills. And I think that will take his price down a lot. If he had five star, he'd be up there. But I think it'll only be around 4,000 coins. Now, I actually matched that. I looked at players that have similar stats last year and I actually looked at Isquerdo. And Isquerdo had a very similar card last year and very similar stats. So I went and priced him around that price, what Isquerdo was, and he was about 4,000 thousand coins so uh i'm oh, sorry it's quite it was about three thousand coins i added a thousand coins for the brazilian because sometimes brazilians just go for a little bit more so i uh, went with four thousand coins now he has low shooting and he has low finishing stats and low like finesse shots etc and that's not a problem in my opinion i think that you guys should play him as someone that's going to dart down the wing with a lot of pace and then do skill moves inwards and try and pass the ball uh he's got four star skills still and with high uh, agility and balance i think that the skill moves will be really fluid and i think that would be someone that is going to be really really good to just cut inside with skills uh maybe he's going to skill one or two defenders he's going to pass the ball across he's going to cross it in uh he's going to pass it on the edge of the area i think this is going to be someone that's going to be perfect for just darting down the wing and doing skill moves and especially with that kind of balance and agility it's super hard to get someone like that off the ball so uh i think he'll be fantastic for that and i'm super excited to try this card out because not only does he get good premier league links but he also gets brazilian links which means you can literally hybrid him anywhere you can maybe go with a csl link with like talisca or you can go you can literally go anywhere it's kind of really cool so uh, i think i definitely will be trying this card out the next up is another godly looking cdm it's actually lerma now lerma is uh, i think he's a recent transfer to bournemouth uh, but he's a colombian cdm with really good uh, base card stats obviously he's got like 75 pace 72 dribbling 78 defending 72 passing 81 physical uh he's got 81 in-game tackles that's both sliding and stand tackles that's why i put the s at the end uh medium high work rates with 90 stamina and i've priced him around 5,000 coins uh the reason i think it's about a 5k is because i think this guy is already pretty hyped with the community and i think he'll be used quite a lot he gets obviously the colombian links which means you can branch him out literally to any league that has a decent colombian maybe a bundesliga maybe the Serie A with quadrado maybe even the league with falcao you know you can branch him out anywhere uh, and he's got really good dexterity in his position which is absolutely fantastic not only that but this card looks really really good now, I think that the CDM spot this year, or sorry, last year even, was a, a, a spot in most leagues that I think was lacking. Uh, there was only some decent uh, CDMs in most leagues, and those were quite expensive at the start of the game. So I think that with the uh, with the abundance of good CDMs this year, especially in the Prem, I don't think we'll have to worry about CDMs with starter teams, and I'm super excited to try this card out for sure. Uh, I think he gets like a really, really good uh, first card. Maybe he gets a first inform, and it's going to be an insane card. 70s across the board mostly 80s as well i'm super excited to see if that happens uh i don't know how he's playing for bournemouth let me know down below how he's been playing and i hope he does get an inform because 
That card, honestly, in my opinion, looks really, really good. And there's no way that if he gets an inform, it won't be one of the most OP cards in the entire game. But I think you should buy this card because I think he'd be really good for Premier League starter teams or even hybrids. Um, and he just looks like a beast. The number six spot, and these are these are in an order, but of the order that I actually like did them last night. But they're not in like an order of players I think are best to worst or anything like that. But in the number six spot, we have Nathan Ake, who I think got an upgrade from last year as well. I think he was like 75 rated last year. But this card looked fantastic. Now, he's only got 74 pace, 79 defending, and 74 physical, but he's only like 5 foot 10 as well, which means that his dribbling stat, even though he's only 70, will feel a lot better than 70. He's got 83 in-game jumping, medium-high work rate, and 75 strength. Now, the reason I've highlighted those stats is because he never plays to so the way he feels. He had even worse stats than that last year, but played like an absolute tank last year, and I think that... Given there's going to be a load of Dutch links this year as well with uh, with the likes of Icons or even people like Van Dijk, for example. Um, I think that Ake will be a pretty good go-to centre-back. And I think that for Premier League starter teams, he will be really OP. Uh, I've priced him around 4,000 coins. It's pretty similar to what he had last year because his card honestly isn't that different from last year. Um, however, I think this card will be a really good overpowered player. And I think you guys should definitely buy him if you are considering making a Premier League or Dutch starter team. Because honestly, that card, in my opinion, looks good now. I know he doesn't look really good on the base card with like like his base stats, but every year he, he he's very appealing because he's just a really good centre back. And even though he's not that tall, he's got really good like although it's 75 strength, it feels a lot more. So it's interesting to see how his card is going to play this year. But I guess it won't be any different and I'm excited to try it out. Next up is Torreira. Now, this is a 78 rated Uruguayan from Arsenal. If you guys didn't know about him last year, he got a team of the season card and it was actually a really decent card. However, he's in like every single one of my packs because he was like the lowest rated Serie A tier, uh, team of the season. He's got 83 short passing in game with medium high work rates and four star skill moves. I've priced him about 6,000 coins. Now, the reason I priced him there is not based on his last year card, but based on him being a new transfer to Arsenal and him looking like a really, really good card. I think he might be overbought, overpriced. And I think that although he might not warrant a 6,000 coin price tag, he could get something similar to that at the start of the game. It depends on how people react to his card. But he's got four star skills. And I think it'd be a pretty decent going forward centre mid that, uh, you know, box to box wise, uh, he's got pretty decent stamina in game as well. Now he's quite short, but that isn't that isn't a bad thing necessarily because he's quite fast for a centre mid. Uh, and those card stats look really decent. And I think his in games look really decent as well. He could be a really good go to player, even if you're just trying to link him to someone like Suarez or Cavani. I think it could be really good. Um, so I'm excited to try this card out. It does look like a beast card and uh, we'll see how it performs in game. I'm genuinely going to try this card out like day one though. Like I really will. I I'll probably make a Premier League team with a bunch of the cards mentioned in this video. Uh, and you guys can watch for that on my channel day one of early access. But this card, in my opinion, it just looks really good. Next up is Lamina. This guy has been at Southampton now for, I think, a year and a bit. Uh, but he's a 78 rated C uh, I think he's a centre mid slash CDM. I'm not entirely sure. Uh, and before he had a really good factor of being Gabonese. And he was one of the only other Gabonese players. So he got a link with, uh, with uh, Aubameyang to get that uh, chemistry for the hybrids. Now, Aubameyang plays for Arsenal. It's a little bit different. However, we've got 82 short passing, medium, medium work rates, and 82 ball control in game. I'm going to predict him around 2,000 coins. I don't think it'd be that expensive, but I think he'd be a pretty decent centre mid. Uh, he'd be quite defensive, but he's got really good dribbling and pace, and I think that that'll go really well in his favour. That'll bode well in his favour. Uh, and I've used this card in, a, in previous FIFAs as like a go-to starter CDM or centre mid, and he feels really good. He's quite tall, and he's quite strong, so it's a decent... Uh, you know, it's a decent uh, combination to have, being tall, strong, and fast. So I think that this will be a card definitely used for a lot of starter teams. And I think if you're going to make a Premier League starter team, definitely try them out. This may seem odd for a lot of you guys, but it's actually John Joe Shelby. And now the reason I do that, I, I bring this card up, is because given on how the gameplay seems to work in the demo, I think this card will be really good for the way that gameplay seems to be in FIFA 19. It doesn't seem to be so pace orientated, but more passing and more dribbling. And I think that works really well for someone like John Joe Shelby, especially if you're making a starter team. Now, he's got 84 short, pa uh, short passing and 81 long shots in game with low medium work rates. Now, I've given him a 3,000 coin price prediction. I think that could be a lot less, like a lot less, given the circumstances. Uh, it depends. It could be about 1,000 coins, honestly. But I've given him a 3,000 coin uh, price sort of prediction to be a bit more generous because I think that people might try to use more players like this uh, instead of all the pacey players in FIFA 19. And I think this card will be really good for, uh, for passing it and, and setting up a lot of pacey 
strikers or wingers. I think this would be someone definitely trying to use. Now, he gets a good link to the Premier League, of course. He gets some really good links to English players as well. So it'd be card that I definitely want to try out. Now, the last one is, in fact, Isquedo. Now, I know I, I actually compared Bernard to Isquedo earlier. Now, I wanted to actually make one on Isquedo himself because that card looks so good for a 78 rated card. I'm going to predict him around 4,000 coins. He's got high, high work rates in game. 91 agility, 84 balance. And I think he's got four star skills, three star weak foot in game as well. And those card stats look fantastic. 91 pace, 81 dribbling, 73 shooting, 74 physical. He's usually a beast at the start of the game. And I don't think this game would be any different. He'd be a great left winger. Of course, gets the Colombian links as well. He gets uh, he gets the Premier League links. And I think this guy will be fantastic. Uh, I really like Isquedo. I think he's one of the better cards in this game, especially for starter teams. So if, if you take anything away from this video, this guy is definitely a card to buy. Hopefully you guys did enjoy this video though, guys. If you did enjoy, leave a like down below. Subscribe if you guys are new around here. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you later.